Is it the right time to buy or sell NEO stock? Today, we'll be delving deep into NEO, providing you with an even more detailed analysis than before. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, December 19, 2023. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. It's important not to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Take your trading decisions to the next level with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4, available at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of artificial intelligence and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for over 25,000 companies worldwide. Please remember that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of December 14, 2023, our system has ranked NEO as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of 0.00. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. NEO has exceeded our expectations, showing a gain of 12.21% since we recommended buying it just four days ago. This means that on average, the stock has been delivering a daily return of 3.05% since it was listed as hold slash accumulate. A score of zero indicates that our system foresees high volatility and risk for the next trading day. With the latest developments, we're unable to determine the stock's next direction, as it could go either way. Based on the current three-month trend, it appears that there may be a potential minus 12.80% change in the next three months. This suggests a possible return between minus 31.75% and minus 12.80%. Looking at the 12-month trend, it indicates a minus 12.22% change over the next year. This could result in a potential return between minus 37.72% and 46.06%. In other words, the price range after a year could be anywhere from $5.49 to $12.88. Our latest update on NEO brings exciting news, a very strong day for NEO stock price on Tuesday. On the last trading day, Tuesday, December 19, 2023, the NEO stock price increased by 5.63%, going from $8.35 to $8.82. This marks its fifth consecutive day of gains. It will be interesting to see if this positive trend continues or if there will be a slight pause in the coming days. Throughout the day, the stock price fluctuated between a low of $8.52 and a high of $8.90, showing a 4.52% variation. In the past 10 days, the price has risen in 7 instances, resulting in an overall increase of 18.71% over the past 2 weeks. The trading volume decreased by 43 million shares on the last day, with a total of 88 million shares being bought and sold for approximately $773.30 million. It's worth noting that a decrease in volume at higher prices can indicate a possible divergence and serve as an early warning for potential changes in the next few days. Looking at the stock's performance over the past 52 weeks, the highest price reached was $16.18, while the lowest price was $7. Currently, the price is 45.49%, $7.36, below the 52-week high and 86.83%, $58.17, below the all-time high on January 11, 2021, when it reached $66.99. Analyst Ratings On Monday, June 12, 2023, UBS reported a neutral grade for NEO with a hold action. On Monday, June 12, 2023, Citigroup gave NEO a buy grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, March 14, 2023, JP Morgan reported a neutral grade for NEO with a downgrade action. On Thursday, March 2, 2023, Telsey Advisory gave NEO a neutral grade with a downgrade action. On Thursday, December 29, 2022, Citigroup reported a hold grade for NEO with a hold action. Analysts have given NEO stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as a strong buy and the price to book as a strong buy as well. When it comes to return on investment, the analysts give the stock a rating of neutral. In this video, we will discuss the signals that have been identified for NEO stock. 
The NEO stock currently holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a positive forecast for the stock. Additionally, there is a general buy signal from the relation between these two signals, with the short-term average positioned above the long-term average. In terms of support levels during corrections, the stock has found support at $7.91 and $7.59. If the stock breaks below any of these levels, it may issue sell signals. On Friday, December 1, 2023, a buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point. Since then, the stock has risen by 23.36%. This indicates a potential further rise until a new top pivot is found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. However, it is important to note that the volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This creates a divergence between volume and price, which may serve as an early warning. Therefore, it is advisable to closely monitor the stock. Today, I'm going to share with you some interesting signals to consider in your trading strategy. Moving Average Convergence Divergence, or MACD, is currently showing a buy signal. Pivots also indicate a buy signal 13 days ago. Bollinger Bands recently gave a buy signal just one day ago. The short-term moving average points to a buy signal 5 days ago. Similarly, the long-term moving average aligns with a buy signal from 5 days ago. Additionally, the relationship between the short and long moving averages suggests a buy signal 5 days ago. Now, let's take a look at the 12-month chart to gain further insights. The short-term moving average indicates a buy signal 5 days ago. However, the long-term moving average suggests a sell signal 66 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages shows a buy signal 62 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more valuable signals and analysis. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for NEO When it comes to support levels for NEO, we can see that there are two key levels to watch out for. Just below today's level, there is accumulated volume support at $8.35. Another support level to keep an eye on is at $7.75. It's important to note that if the stock breaks through one support level, it may fall to the next one. Now let's talk about the risks involved. Whenever a stock is testing a support level, there is a natural risk. In the case of NEO, if the support at $8.35 is broken, the stock may potentially drop further to the next support level. This next support level is found just below today's level, at $7.75. Additionally, there is another support level at $7.43. Moving on to volatility, NEO has shown average movements during the day and has good trading volume. This means that the risk is considered to be medium. In the last day, the stock had a price range of $0.385, which is equivalent to a 4.52% difference between the high and low. Looking at the past week, the stock has experienced a daily average volatility of 5.56%. Before we explore potential trading levels for NEO, it's important to understand some key fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio indicates that a company either has negative earnings or is losing money. It's not uncommon for established companies to face temporary setbacks, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios could indicate insufficient profitability and potential bankruptcy risks. Moving on to other news, the next earnings report for the fourth quarter of 2023 is expected to be released on February 28, 2024. Let's dive into some potential day trading levels for NEO. If NEO follows an upward trend, the first resistance level to watch out for is at $8.83. If you're not already holding any shares, it might be wise to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. However, if you're already invested in the stock, this could be a level worth considering for swing trading. On the other hand, if NEO experiences a downside movement, its first support level can be found at $8.35. If this support level holds, it could present a good entry point with the expectation of a rebound. Our recommended stop loss for this stock is set at $8.55, which represents a decrease of 3.02%.
This particular stock experiences moderate daily fluctuations, resulting in a medium level of risk. Furthermore, we have identified a buy signal from a pivot bottom that occurred 12 days ago. Is NEO stock a good buy? While NEO holds several positive signals, we believe it may not be a strong buy candidate at the moment. It is recommended to consider holding or accumulating this position and await further development. Our analysis conclusion has been downgraded from a buy to a hold slash accumulate candidate due to some minor weaknesses in the technical picture. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our systems have determined that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Wednesday, December 20th, we anticipate NEO to open down $0.0750 and start trading at $8.75. Before we dive into the content, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. To make well-informed decisions, it's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using the information provided, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. In this video, we'll be discussing our current view on this stock. We value your opinion, so please share your thoughts in the comments below. What is your target for this stock? We're eager to hear from you. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Our team wishes you success in your trading endeavors. Have a fantastic day, and thank you for being a part of the Stock Invest community.